Hello everyone. Yeah, I'm a student in China, specifically in, in Hubei province. That is where the coronavirus is at its peak. That is the epicenter of the virus at the moment. And because of anonymity, seat, I wouldn't want to mention my name or the course that I'm doing here or maybe the specific city that I found myself. But what I want to put across is that the coronavirus here is deadly. And you know, the situation, the cases keeps on increasing. You know, as of now, about 42,000 plus confirmed cases. And the death toll has also been, been increasing exponentially now over a thousand. We have, they have recorded over a thousand deaths. So I want, what I want to put across the government is that we, the students in, Wuhan, uh, in Hubei province, what we only require is evacuation, not money. The issue here is that even if when we are giving money, you are not allowed to go out. So how do you go and purchase what you need? And even the stores around, they are all closed. For instance, the school or that I found myself in, there is only one shop. So it's, it's a more or less a supermarket that you go there to purchase goods. But at the moment when you go there, just the some of the goods are getting finished. And also the restrictions that even the school has put on us. That if we are if we want to go out, first of all, we have four we, we are having four gates for the school in the school. You have the north gate, the south gate, the east gate, and the west gate. And at the moment they have closed three of the gates. It's only one that you may be able to go out. And when you are going out, you have to submit your passport. You have to submit your passport. And when you, when you go out, you are given one hour. So if if you come, you return back, and it's more than one hour, there's a punishment that awaits you. And looking at the struggle, when you, when you are able to go out, before even you enter the supermarket, so that you get there, there's a, a bit of queue there, you even want to check your temperature, then understand before you enter. So even the one order they give to us is just, it's evacuation or nothing else. If the government wouldn't also want to evacuate us, it should just tell us. So that we wouldn't put much pressure on them. So that so that we will we know that we we are being left to die. I think that's what what they want to hear. If they want us to die here, fine, they should tell us. The thing is about evacuation. And evacuation, you have who protocol, WHO protocol of evacuation, which we have discussed with our people and we are all 100% accepted to, to those, the protocols of the evacuation, which we need to be quarantined for a period of, of, of days, which we are all in support and have agreed to abide by it. So um, that I'm hearing that they are going to they are sending us more. They are sending. Let, let me let me make it emphatically clear that we don't need any money. We don't need any money. It's evacuation or nothing else. They can't use that five hundred dollars to induce us. No, it will never happen. The five hundred dollars that they want to induce us that they will give or will offer each and every student. No, we are not in agree. We are not in support. We highly repudiate it. We highly reject it. So I want you to. I, I want this to be. I want this video to get to any any other officials or any of the stakeholders involved in our in in our in the decision of our evacuation. Who is relenting and who, 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 who is being like a drastical in, in making such a decision? And I want to also put across to them that if any of them has his or her, her son or daughter here, 
would the person allow the, the, the son or the daughter to die before he or she comes for for the corpse? I don't know why other countries have been able to come and evacuate their people. Look at Papua New Guinea, they came for their people. 